Okay. So in thinking about this, um, you can think about like, well, how, how do they know they're moving? Relative to what are they moving? Are they moving uh, next to each other? You know, compared to each other, are they moving? Because sometimes they're not moving next to each other. Are they moving compared to the treadmill? Are they moving compared to the belt on the treadmill? Okay, all those are different. Like the, the same thing is happening, but they're moving differently relative to different parts. Okay, and the science thing is that you can tell you're moving by looking at a reference point. So think about when you've gone on an escalator and you're moving relative to, your, I mean, you're not moving your legs, you're just kind of like standing there and riding down. So you're not moving relative to the step that you're on. You are moving relative to like this part that, you know, the unmoving part of the escalator. And then you're moving in a different way relative to other people going up the escalator because you're going past them faster than you are going past, you know, the unmoving part of the escalator. This is Comic-Con in case you were wondering. Okay, so thinking about, here's another example. Uh, movement exists only relative to a reference point. Okay, so looking at this, think about, is the boat moving? Is the drone moving? Is the water moving? Think about all those things. Okay, so they're clearly on a moving sailboat, moving over the ocean. And see the drone? See, it's coming! There's the drone, and they're going to try and land the drone on the moving boat. So the air is moving, and the water is moving. They're moving at different rates. The boat is moving, and the drone is moving. So why this is hard is that... The boat is moving relative to the air, and the drone has to move relative to the air, too. Oh. C'est bon, c'est bon. These guys speak French, if you were not hearing that. C'est bon, saying it's fine. I'm going to try again. Un peu plus bas encore. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, guys. Wow, wow, wow. Bravo. Oh la la. <laughs> oh la la, he says. Okay. Uh, okay. So all this motion is relative. It depends what, how, where you're moving depends on what you're looking at and comparing it to. Okay, so this brings us out to distance versus displacement. So distance, we're defining as how long the path you took was. Cause so if you're going and moving somehow, the, the length of the path that you took, that's the distance. Okay, so for example, uh, if you're thinking about the Indy 500, the distance that they drive is 500 miles because that's the length of the path that they take. Displacement is different. Displacement is how far you are from your reference point at any given time. Okay, so for the Indy 500, the displacement is zero miles. 
because you drive round and round and round and round and round and then stop where you started. Okay? Or a little ways off, but not 500 miles, you know, because they go around one loop and that's a mile, I think. Okay, here's another example. So if this person walked along this curvy path, they go do 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 walk 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 and then ended up here. Okay, then the distance that they traveled is this long path. However, the displacement is just how far away they are from their starting point. Okay, so the displacement is here. Okay, totally different. And they mean different things. Okay, now we're going to get mathy with this. So you can track displacement in a graph. Okay, you're going to start and say usually zero is the reference point. Okay, so imagine that there's this dog. And then there's a dog in a tree, okay? So first, he's four meters away from the tree, and then he runs to the tree. And then he runs back away from the tree, three meters. And then he runs toward the tree and then keeps going past the tree so that it's he's this far away. And then he turns and then he goes back to the tree and he stops, okay? So this motion, this back and forth motion, that's something that we can track. Okay, so you can see where he's going on the number line, but now we're going to take it up in another dimension. But it's the same motion, okay? Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Okay, so if he started, so here's the dog right here. He started four meters away from the tree, the, the zero point, okay? Look, here's the tree. So he started here. There's four. He's four away. That's, this is where he is right here. Okay, and then along this axis is time. Okay, so this makes this into a displacement time graph and it better maps the motion. Okay, because before we couldn't tell how long it was taking him to do these things. Okay, but say he stayed here for looks like 10 seconds. From zero to 10 seconds, he was four meters away from the tree in the positive direction. And then he starts running toward the tree. Well, toward the tree means toward the zero point. So he goes, do, 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 do. And it takes him 10 seconds to get to the tree. Because see, now he's where the tree is. And his time displacement is here. His, like, space displacement is here. Okay, I shouldn't call that time displacement. His, the time that he spends doing this is 10 seconds here. So at 20 seconds, time equals 20, he's at the tree. Okay, and you can tell that because he's at this zero. Okay, then after that, so he went there. And then after that, he runs back where he went. So here he is going back up to this displacement here, three. See the three? It's right there. So this goes to here, and that's where he is at 30 seconds. And then after this, he runs back toward the tree, but then goes past the tree. So here's that happening. He runs back toward the tree, here he is at the tree, and then past the tree in the negative direction. Okay, until he gets to negative three. See, there he is, he's at negative three displacement. And then he stayed there for, looks like five seconds. And then, so that's where he is here, stayed there for five seconds, but you can't see that here. And then he runs back to the tree and stops. And here he is going back to the tree, because here's the tree at zero. And he stops. And this took him, let's see, five, ten seconds to do that. So to go from here to here, that took ten seconds. So that's the extra information that we get in this displacement time graph. And if you get confused, because I know this is a little weird to think about motion in this way, because people are used to thinking of motion as just like right, left, forward, back, not through time. Okay, at least not graphing through time, but just remember, these are seconds. This is not a direction. This is time. Okay, and there's only one, one dimension of motion in this kind of, this kind of graph, and it's only up and down, positive and negative. Okay. Okay. 
Now, here's the thing. So this is a displacement graph. Remember, displacement means how far you are away from some reference point. But you can measure how do you do that? Well, let's let's look. So here's another displacement graph. Here we don't have a dog or anything up there, but it's just like time on this axis and displacement, like where you are on this graph. So here's your reference point, zero. Okay, let's see. So how far do they go in this? You can measure. So here, whatever this was, let's say it's a dog again. Say the dog went. 200 meters up to here because you can tell it went to 200 and then it went some more it's it rested for a while here because see it didn't displace anymore for some seconds here let's see from 25 uh oh i'm sorry that's 30 40 50 60 70 70 seconds they it just stayed put didn't do anything and then they started moving again but then when they moved again it moved up to here. So moving from 200 to 500, that's 300, okay? Because they went up here. Remember, this slope here is just like time going by. Okay, so 200 plus 300, but then it goes back down here. So what could that mean? You go from here to here, you're going from 500 to zero. So that is another 500. Okay, remember this doesn't subtract, even though you're going in the negative direction here, but you're, you're measuring the length of the path taken. And positive and negative in this just means a direction, which I know that takes a, another thing to get used to. It's another level of abstraction. That positive and negative can just be a direction. Okay, and here, it's just saying north. So this is like north this way and south this way. Okay, so went up here, then back here, and then down again. So it's 500 meters back, but then continued to move down here. So we gotta measure that too. So going down from here to about there, it's about 175 meters down this way. Okay, and then no more movement because flat means not dis not changing the displacement, okay? So if you just add up all the distances traveled, then that's, that's your distance. Okay, it's not displacement. Displacement is different. If you went from the beginning to the end, the displacement is gonna be just this part because it's the distance away from zero, the reference point, okay? I know we're gonna have to practice this. Okay, reading the graph. Let's practice this. Where was the position, that's like the displacement. Position, displacement is the same thing, at two seconds. Okay, so here's time on this axis and position on this axis. Here's zero is the reference point. Okay, so where was the position at two seconds? Well, let's go one second, two seconds, and it's right here. It's 10 meters. In the plus direction, so 10 meters at, is the answer to this. At eight seconds, well, let's look down here, eight, 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 there we go, eight seconds, and it's right here. So the position is, it's a little, little below negative 15, so it's like negative 16, okay? At 10 seconds, let's go over to here, 10, do, 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 and that's between five and 10, so it's like seven ish, okay? at 10, at five seconds, go back to five seconds. Five seconds is zero, the position is zero. And the total distance traveled, okay. So for that, you'd have to add these up. You'd have to say, okay, started here, no movement, no movement, no movement, and then it went from 10 to zero. Like here, it went from 10 to zero. So that's 10, let's write that on there. Okay, I'm gonna put that 10, ooh, bad writing with the mouse. Okay, 10, and then from here to here, that's about 16, so 16. And then back from here to here again, they traveled up to zero, so that's another 16. Back to there, and then whatever this is, from here to here, that's about 14. 
okay? So the total distance traveled, you'd add these up. 10 plus 16 plus 16 plus 14. Let's see, this is 30, this is 46, this is 56. Well, that's about 56. Okay, there. 